In the variety update part 2, Noistorm added relics to the Crab Champions universe. At the time of this video, there are 30 relics in total, and during your run, you can hold a maximum of 6 at a time. Ranging from rare to legendary, these relics can be insanely powerful. So in this video, I'm going to go through all 30 of them and add my own thoughts as to whether I think they're good or bad. Starting with the rare relics, we have the Ring of Healing. Fully heal when entering the shop. This relic's pretty straightforward. Enter the shop and you'll go back to full health. The Ring of Armor. Gain an armor plate if starting an island with no armor. This is a great early game relic that enables you to be a little risky in the beginning. However, once you've got your armor sorted, it's time to salvage it. We have the Ring of Parrying. Heal 10% of your health each time you parry. Now most people don't know this, but parrying has been in the game for a long time. I've often referred to it as iframing in my videos, but now there's a slight sound effect when you do iframe or parry. This is a great relic because one, 10% is a great amount of health to heal, but two, it can also trigger when jumping out of damaging bubbles like fire and lightning and things like that. However, in most cases, you'll find yourself occasionally parrying damage when trying to escape enemies, which does make this relic quite strong. We have the Ring of Destruction. It resets all cooldowns and reloads weapons when destroying destructible rocks. This is quite a situational relic, but if you're going down an ability build or maybe you're rocking a large mag build, then this will definitely help. Pair this with Crystal Fertilizer and you won't have any trouble finding those destructible rocks. We have the Portal Ring. Gain an extra portal choice after each island. This is an incredible relic because it gives you way more flexibility when choosing your next island. The ability to have more choice means you have more control over your build, which definitely takes away a lot of the RNG factor in the game. We have the ring of reloading. Reload speed increased by 75%. Nothing really to explain here. It's a handy relic when reloading, but not really the type of thing that you just want to run and gun for. We have the Coral Amulet. Chests contain three more loot choices. So whenever you open a chest at the end of an island, you'll have three additional loot choices. In my opinion, this relic is absolutely bonkers. Giving you more options for loot is an insane feat. This should be an instant pickup. The ability to have more choice is always on the top of that priority list. We have the Combo Ring. Max combo increased by 3. Combo is gained when you kill an amount of enemies and is lost when you're hit without having any armor to protect you. If you have crystal or damage combo, this ring is an absolute game changer, adding 3 extra points of percentage. So, at 8 combo points, a rank 1 damage combo is around 120% extra damage, or with crystal combo, it would be 120% extra crystals. Great relic with some huge potential. Tony's Amulet. Shops contain six more goods for sale. Tony's stock has been increased and he can now hold six extra items, just like Coral Amulet and the Portal Ring. Having more choice is amazing. And given the fact that the shop is super expensive, having more options means you're more likely to get what you need. The Ring of Value. Shops always contain a pedestal that is discounted by 75%. So when you enter the shop or use the reroll totem, there will always be an item at a 75% discount. This is a great way to get some additional items in the inventory, or you can always salvage them for a little bit of extra money. Moving into the epic relics, there is the ethereal armor. Gain one armor plate at the start of every three islands. This is known as a poor man's regenerating armor. It's a relatively good perk that keeps you topped up over the course of your run. I like this relic, but it's not at the same level as some of the other relics coming up. Ring of Defense, incoming damage reduced by 50%. In my opinion, this relic is absolutely broken. Whilst I don't take too much damage too often in my run, having the damage reduced by 50% is amazing. This is an instant pickup for me, as even if I didn't have any damage, I'd still love that safety net of having the damage reduced by 50%. Ring of Deflection, 25% chance to block incoming damage. This works the same way as Bulletproof does, except it has a flat 25% chance to work. It's incredibly strong, and that means anytime you're about to take damage, there is a 1 in 4 chance that you won't. Ring of Repulsion, 
dashing repels nearby enemy projectiles. This has replaced our beloved repelling dash. And with my testing, it's still a 33% dash radius like rank 1 repelling dash. It's a pretty solid relic, especially for Ultra Chaos. However, it's not something that I'd go out of my way for. Ring of Power, weapon damage increased by 500%, but fire rate reduced by 75%. This relic feels a little bit like a bait. Whilst 500% weapon damage is a lot of damage, in the grand scheme of things, you're sacrificing a lot of fire rate for damage that can be found elsewhere. If you can counteract the fire rate, then I'd say it's good to go, but Ring of Power doesn't scream overpowered to me. Ring of Precision, critical hit damage increased by 250%. This relic is nuts to me, and if you've got any critical chance, you're in for a treat. This relic takes your critical damage and then adds 250% to it. If you were to crit on the sniper doing 200 damage, this relic would then add 250% damage to it, making it 700 damage. It is absolutely insane. Next we have the ammo ring, dashing reloads your weapon. In Crab Champions, dashing is when you double jump, not when you press the shift button. This should be habitual for any good Crab Champions player, making this relic extremely powerful. You'll never have to manually reload again, and for a fast fire rate weapon, you're going to have 100% uptime. Ring of Gravity, gain low gravity movement. This relic is all down to preference, but essentially it keeps you airborne, making you less likely to be hit by enemy melee attacks. Keeping enemies away from you has always been the best strategy in Crab Champions, so this relic is definitely good. Ring of Rocket Jumping, friendly explosions cause you to rocket jump into the air. Take me back to 1996 because rocket jumping is now in Crab Champions. You can now use any explosion to send you into the air or launch you away from enemies. It's a great escape tool and it's definitely fun. For added bonus, here's my live reaction to the rocket jump. Well, here's the first one. <laughs> rocket jump in the air. <laughs> That's sick. That's crazy! Skill ring, upgrade epic chest to legendary chest when flawlessly clearing an island. This ring is great when you're on the hunt for legendaries as if you're careful on elite, boss or waves, you'll land yourself a legendary rather than an epic chest. It definitely enables you to snowball and hopefully land yourself an extra special legendary. Duplication ring, get an extra chest when flawlessly clearing elite or boss islands. This relic is definitely amazing when you start sweeping elite and boss islands quickly, and when paired with the aforementioned skill ring, you're looking at two legendary chests every seven islands. There are four elemental rings that provide 250% strength, but no longer enable another element. We have the ice ring, which increases ice strength, but removes fire effects. The Fire Ring, which increases fire strength, but removes the ice effects. Lightning Ring, which increases lightning strength, but removes poison effects. And finally, Poison Ring, which increases poison strength, but removes lightning effects. There should always be space for one of these rings. Having 250% increased strength on your elemental damage is really good, especially if you're struggling to take down those stronger enemies. Finally, we have the Legendary Relics. Ring of Protection, incoming elemental damage reduced by 75%. This relic provides some extra safety as you go through the islands. One of the biggest killers in the game is fire damage and negating that damage by 75% is definitely useful. Paired with the Ring of Defense, you're looking at reducing damage by a ton. Ring of Swiftness gains hugely increased movement speed. This relic is one of my personal favorites as it practically turns you into Sonic. You can glide around the map at super speeds, avoiding all damage and just generally having a good time. Ring of Luck, all chance-based perks are 100% more likely to trigger. This relic specifically mentions mods, so this would work on things like double vision, performance bonus, and even critical damage perks. Ability Ring, Ability cooldowns reduced by 75%. This relic is definitely situational, but does enable you to have a near permanent uptime on your abilities. 
This means you can have a permanent black hole in the middle of the island pulling all the weaker enemies in whilst you continue to pick off the bigger ones on the inside. Last but not least, we have the portal amulet. Weapon shots are fired from the nearest enemy instead of from your weapon. This relic is like homing shot but on crack. Rather than firing from your weapon, the bullets spawn out of your nearest enemies. Depending on what mods and perks you have, you could be seeing some crazy projectiles flying out of your enemies. For an extra bonus, add glue shot to your weapon and enemies will melt upon spawning. So there we have it, all 30 relics that have been added to the variety update. I'd love to know which one is your favorite and what crazy synergies that you've found so far, so pop them in the comments. If you like Crab Champions and you want to support this channel, please drop a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.